Welcome back, YouTubers. Welcome back, fragrance fans. I'm Steven. This is Oda Treasure EDT. This is my YouTube channel where I collect fragrances. I get them in the mail here in Japan. I go shopping online, buy them. They come in the mail, and I open them up in these videos, and I tell you what it is, tell you why it's special, what I paid for it, why I bought it. And in this episode, I am showing you a vintage fragrance that's actually not that old. It's probably 10, maybe 10 years old. And it belongs to the Abercrombie & Fitch family, but it's not Abercrombie & Fitch. I have several videos on the channel already with some vintage Abercrombie & Fitch fierce uh, bottles, really awesome bottles. And as I get them in, I'm going to continue to make videos of those. It's like, I don't know, it's kind of like a theme on this channel. But this is from a sister brand of Abercrombie & Fitch. I recently did a video about Rule 925, one of those fragrances that are now discontinued and hard to find. That's also a sister brand of Abercrombie and & Fitch. And this one is Hollister. This is a vintage bottle of Hollister Jake. I'm going to show this to you and tell you why I bought it and what's special about it. Let's check it out. All right, I made some cuts so I can open this up easily and show you the packing job and what it looks like as I open this box. There it is. All right. Good packing job. Lots of bubble wrap. We like to see that. I can even use it again. I'm kind of in a hurry because my girlfriend, uh, we have dinner plans tonight and she's getting ready and we're running out of time. So I got to get this done. All right. So Hollister is a, uh, like I said, it's a sister brand of Abercrombie and Fitch. It came out, I think, in 2001, and the theme of Hollister is, I mean, the, the audience is like, it's for teenagers, basically. It says on Fragrantica, 14 to 18 year old, and it's, it's supposed to have like a Southern California feel. So it's all about the beach and surfing themes and things like that. And they have a lot of fragrances. And just like everything else, the fragrances get discontinued or reformulated or changed. And there is a, uh, you know, there's a fan following for Hollister. People are paying a lot of money for vintage fragrances. I have one of the, uh, one of the most valuable ones from Hollister. It's called Breakline. And I found that like four years ago, I found a, a, like a sealed brand new bottle 50 ml bottle of brake line and just like this it comes in a brown cardboard box but the top of the bottle like the bottle is shaped like an ink bottle it's like a it's like a um like a small square but it has a figure of a surfer on top of it and it's it's in this really delicate cardboard box and as you can imagine it's hard to keep that thing it's hard to to uh, you know, just keep it intact and to pack it and to move it around. I don't want to break the uh, packaging on it. So maybe someday I'll make a video as I take that out, but that's packed away now. So I just added this to my collection. Here it is, Hollister Jake. This is a 30 ml bottle. I don't know if they have a 100 ml bottle for this. I think it's just a 50 ml and a 30 ml, unless I'm mistaken. Leave me a comment down below and let me know about Jake, if you know anything more about it than me. Here's what the box looks like. Here's your surfer dude. And look at that, it's got the price on it, $30 USA. I guess that's how much the 30 ml was. I wonder what the 50 ml was, 50 bucks? 2495 is the batch code. The box is pretty nice, it's pretty good condition. It's not dirty at all. I don't know what this smells like, but this is a woody fragrance. And when I was reading the comments, somebody said that this smells exactly like Polo Number no. 4, which comes in an orange bottle. All right. So here it is. This is a vintage bottle. Now the bottle is blue, I heard. And this is what the old one looks like. It's in a brown bottle here. Jake Eau de Cologne. And I even uh, heard that, or I saw online that there's an even an older looking, uh, there's a box that looks different that's the original one. That's even more valuable than this. And if I see it, I'll grab it. But 
I looked on eBay what these are selling for, guys. These are 200, 250 bucks for the 50 ml. Maybe not that high, maybe just like 175 or 200, but the 30 ml that's new, and as you can see, this one's full. This is a new one. 125 bucks for this. These are worth 100 over $100 for this little 30 ml. So, I'm going to give it a try. I don't know what it smells like, but I'm very curious. I want to see what this uh, smells like. I'm guessing it's a little bit on the spicy, woody side. This hand is clean, so let me give myself a spray. All right, one spray. Still full, wouldn't you say? All right, so I'm going to come back here in a minute after uh, this thing dries down. I'm going to tell you what my initial impression is. A vintage bottle of Hollister Jake. I'll tell you what I paid for it and just close the video out. All right, this is pretty nice, guys. This is not spicy as I thought. It's a woody citrus fragrance. So this is, uh, like I said, um, Polo Number no. Four, the orange bottle. But if you know Armani Aqua de Jo Absolu, somebody in the comments said this is like ninety nine percent similar to that. So this is a nice fragrance, but there's no way I would spend the money of what these are going for on eBay. This is all about nostalgia. People want to remember what their high school or teenage years were like, and they want to spend the money to get this, but I, there's a lot of fragrances out there that smell similar to this. It's nice, don't get me wrong, as I'm smelling it now. But it's not, first of all, I know this is my initial impression, but the performance, it just doesn't seem like it's anything that great, that strong. And I like strong performers because my skin just sucks up this stuff and it just doesn't, stuff doesn't seem to last on me. Yeah, other people can smell it on me after four hours or, or so, but I want to smell it myself. Certain fragrances, I can smell them on me for hours, eight hours, even the next day, 24 hours. I still smell it. I love those. But there are some like this that are kind of weak and then you just don't smell them after a short period of time. I just think it's kind of the, a mix of the strength of it, the amount of oils, the fragrance oils, and also the kind of notes just don't hit my nose the same. So I actually got um, I actually got two things in the mail today. I bought something else, but the other thing is there's nothing really special about it. I'm not going to make a video about it, but I just I took it out of the box already. So Versace Man Eau Fraiche. This is the Eau Fraiche flanker of Versace Man. I think Versace Man, the original one, is discontinued, but this is a 30 ml. Guys, I got this for... Uh, I got this for eight bucks, eight dollars. It's full. Somebody just sprayed it once and didn't want it. This is a great, great summertime citrus fragrance. It's fresh. And some people say that this has a cooling effect. And you can even, this is one that you can put in the fridge and uh, when it's cold and then when it's hot outside, you spray it down. It gives you the double cooling effect. So maybe I'll try that out this summer. Anyway, that's this one. That's what I got. It's not worthy of its own video. But I got it at the same time as this one. All right, guys. So I forgot to tell you what I paid for it, right? So let me tell you quickly what I paid for it and then close out the video. Uh, I got lucky with this one. When these come up on online here in Japan, these Japanese people know that these are, um, you know, they're, they're sought after and in demand. So these go for like 80, let's say 75, $80 when they're new and sealed in the 50, 50 ml size and i was lucky nobody grabbed this i think this was on the sitting online for i don't know half an hour before i bought it i think 2500 yen so i paid about 18 dollars for this somewhere around there 18 and change and i think it's well worth it uh, for this um this treasure this discontinued not discontinued but this vintage bottle that uh, has changed in the comments on Fragranica, some people say that the new version is uh, not as strong as this one. And this one's not even that strong either, so I can imagine how weak it is. It's a nice fragrance. I'm glad to add this to my collection, Hollister Jake. If you like this video, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out my videos. I have a lot of different uh, brands, and I find all these great vintage fragrances discontinued vintage, rare, and otherwise interesting fragrances here in Japan. I had this unique opportunity. I find these treasures online and just thought I'd make some videos about it. All right, leave me a comment down below. Say hello or uh, make some suggestions of things I should be looking for or let me know about Jake. What do you think of Hollister Jake? 
or anything else you want to ask me. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you're all having an awesome day out there. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.